Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good weekend and welcome back to Fractured Space from Mighty Jingles and the reason I'm covering Fractured Space for today's casual Saturday video is they've just shipped a major patch with a major new game mode it's called Last Stand and it's pretty damn good Few events in history impacted the human psyche more than the advent of the swarm We watched as system after system fell no one could stand up to it. Our job was simply to hold it back long enough to get the civilians out. The commander had never faced anything like this. None of us had. Right, let's give this a go. I actually played this before. A couple of weeks ago, before heading out to Russia, I popped down to Edge Case Game Studios in Guildford and had a hands-on, uh, courtesy of the developers. So I had some idea of what sort of thing to expect. Last Stand is a three-player team-based co-op battle against increasingly difficult waves of enemies. And since when you queue for a Last Stand game, the matchmaker only has to find two other players to join battle with you, as you can quite clearly see, it doesn't take very long at all to find yourself in a game. When I had a go at this at Edge Case Game Studios, I was playing with two of the developers, and they obviously know what they're doing. They designed it, after all. Now, they told me, before we started playing, that in that particular build of the game, at least, the major stumbling block for most teams seemed to be the seventh wave of enemies. That was the one that most people tended to struggle to get through. So I was very proud of myself when we managed to actually blast right through the seventh wave without too many problems and made it as far as the 14th wave of bad guys before we just couldn't handle the kind of firepower that we were being expected to deal with. After the playthrough I had a bit of a chat with some of the developers and there was a pretty general consensus on some do's and don'ts, some tips and tricks for maximising your effectiveness in this game mode. First however, what's actually going on? If you look at the map, you can see there are four sectors. You start off in your home base, which consists of four defence turrets and one core. Any enemy ships that make it into your home base are first going to take out the turrets, and then they're going to destroy your core. And when your core's been destroyed, it's game over. In order to get into your home base, however, first, they have to capture one of the jump stations in one of these three sectors, Alpha, Delta and Beta. And this is where we come in. Now I've picked a Colossus. This is a very, very tough, very tanky starship. And initially at least, the first couple of waves are not going to be a huge problem. The other two ships on my team are a Pioneer, which is a good complement for the Colossus. I take the hits and the Pioneer kills them. And an Endeavour, which is a support ship, which initially seems like a good choice. You've got one tank, one DPS, and one healer. And that will certainly serve you in good stead, at least during the initial waves when there aren't that many enemy ships and the amount of damage that you're taking isn't too extreme. Later on however, having a support ship rather than some more dedicated firepower is going to be a bit of a problem. Because the sheer number of ships and the sheer volume of firepower that you're having to deal with in later levels it's just far too much for one support ship to be able to handle. There's a far better way of dealing with these swarms than to heal the damage that they're doing and that's to kill them before they get the chance to do all of that damage. You'll notice that they don't always attack the same sector at the minute this second wave of enemies are splitting their attack across Delta and Beta sectors and I'm single-handedly holding off Delta Sector by myself. Not a problem. This was only the second wave, sorry. I just heard myself saying, go for the eyes, boo. <laughs> I have the mighty Jingles commander on the ship, of course. Um, and the other two ships on the team were able between them to handle the attack wave and coming into the Beta Sector. But that was just the second wave. If this had been the eighth or ninth wave, I would have been hard pressed to hold off Delta Sector on my own. And I would have had to do it for longer because with the support ship and an attack ship holding off the enemies attacking in Beta, 
they would have taken a lot longer than if two attack ships had the sector to themselves. So you can see why right now we're handling this relatively easily. I mean, I've taken a lot of damage here. The uh, port side of my ship's armor has been completely stripped. That's why I'm presenting the starboard side towards the enemies. But we've got all three ships on the team now in the Delta Sector. And once we've beaten off this attack wave, I'll be able to get some heals. Things are getting a lot tougher than this later on. And if I get myself into the kind of situation as I was just in now, where I was having to hold off an entire sector's worth of swarm ships by myself while I was waiting for the other two ships on the team to secure a second sector. Later on, when there are a lot more ships to deal with, I probably wouldn't be able to survive long enough while waiting for the other two to finish securing a second sector. That's the downside of having a support ship in your team selection. You're easily able to handle the initial waves, but you're really going to struggle later on. Of course it helps that there are only three players on a team. It's not too difficult to coordinate when you only have two other teammates to worry about. And if you join up together with a friend, even with just one friend, that means two thirds of your team are probably going to be on voice comms. And that's probably a major factor, as well as the fact that I was playing with the developers that meant we were able to actually get through to the 14th wave of the Last Stand game mode when I was playing this at Edge Case Game Studio. Gotcha. This is just the third wave, by the way. <laughs> Wait until you see how crazy it gets later on. In fact, you know what? Instead of just telling you how crazy things are going to get, once we've dealt with this guy, I'm going to skip to a later wave, and you can see how crazy things are going to get. Okay, so, this is the seventh wave. Now, things got a little bit crazy on the sixth wave, where one of the forward bases fell, and the swarm actually managed to penetrate to the home base, but we were able to fall back, eliminate them before they did any damage, and then recapture the Alpha Sector. This is wave seven. Now, luckily... They're all jumping in at the same sector. Unfortunately, I'm here in Alpha having recapped it, which means I've got two jumps to make in order to actually be in a position to intercept. But I'm about to arrive. And this is wave seven. This is the wave where people normally start to struggle. And you're gonna see why it's important that you kill these swarm ships as quickly as possible. A large part of that is focusing your fire. But the available firepower that you have is also a factor. Which is why if you get to wave 7 or higher and you're carrying a support ship with you, you're really going to start to struggle to kill these swarm ships quickly enough to react to the next wave of swarm ships. Right now, we didn't quite have enough firepower to knock out all the swarm ships in beta before they managed to capture the forward base and one of them has slipped through before we could recap and is now attacking the home base. That guy over there is attacking one of our four defense stations. And already there are fresh enemies jumping into Alpha. Now, if we can kill this guy quickly enough, we can jump to Alpha and prevent the station from falling so those swarm ships in Alpha will not be able to jump into the base and attack that defense turret. If we can kill this guy quickly enough. They're already capping that station. I'm initiating the jump out. Will I be quick enough? Shit, no. Can I intercept them before they jump? No, I can't. Oh, an explosive drone. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah, the swarm ships aren't just the ships that you encounter when you're playing Fractured Space. They have lots and lots of drones. They have missile turrets that they deploy. They have laser drones. They have suicide bomb drones. Those things are fun. <laughs> anyway, back to home base. Hopefully nail these guys before they kill one of our turrets. Come on. I'm not actually... Okay, now I'm in range. Now I'm starting to do some damage. And I'm the last one alive. 
our endeavours respawning, our pioneers respawning. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I have to keep turning my armour facing. Yep. Ventral armour's gone. I've got to get down. Yeah, that is less than good. I could use some backup here, guys. No, I'm down. But, did my job. USR Colossus, I'm a tank. They were attacking me. They weren't attacking the turrets. So now it's all down to my respawning teammates while I wait and sit out the cooldown before I can jump back in. Wave 7 is pretty tough. <laughs> but it's fun. Right. Okay. Still got enemy ships in the home base. No, they've just taken down the last enemy ship at the home base, so I'm going to jump straight to Alpha and recapture that station. Because if the next wave of swarm ships... We're on wave 8 now, so we made it past wave 7. We've broken the camel's back. If they jump into Alpha, they can then jump straight into our base. So I, I must recapture this station. Okay, they're jumping into Delta. Okay, I've recaptured the station. I'm going to join the team in Delta. Right, what do we got? Christ, bad guys everywhere. <laughs> this guy's been designated as a focus target, no problem. Sending the bombers in, hitting them with the flat cannons, missiles away. The station's under attack. We need to get inside the station defense perimeter. Crap, they've taken the station. And they're focusing down the Pioneer. We can inflict significant damage on them while they're jumping, however. While you're spooling up your jump drives, you do take a lot more damage, but at least one of them managed to get through. So, I'll have a look at the map. We've now got enemy ships in three different sectors. We have to react to the threat to the home base, of course. But, while we're dealing with that, we're going to have enemy ships taking the forward stations in Delta and Beta Sector. Missiles away. Let's take the Sentinel out. Looks like he's the only one that made it through. But we're about to have company. Now, am I going to risk jumping? Yeah, I will. We've got a friendly ship in Delta who's going to be holding them off and is going to need the support. Beta, however, is probably a lost case. Enemy Colossus. That's not good. All three of us here, the board station in Beta is about to fall, which means they're about to jump into our home base. And this Colossus has taken a lot of killing. Beta station is down, they're jumping at the home base. The Colossus is down. There are still other ships here. But we have to react to the threat to the home base. And let's face it, if I bug out from here and head back to the home base, what's going to happen in Delta? Well, they're going to take the Delta station and they're going to jump to the home base. And we're all going to be there waiting for them. So there's just me and the Endeavour support ship holding off all of the swarm ships jumping in from Delta and Beta. This is going to be fun. Looks like the Pioneer is about ready to respawn. We could use his help. Because there are a lot of enemy ships here. Who are they going for? They're going for the defense turret. Yeah, that's not good. Come on, I need to clear the structure so I can get line of fire. Yep. We're focusing this one down. Even if we clear out the enemy ships threatening the base, no, we've lost one of the turrets. One down, three to go. If fresh enemies jump into Delta or Beta, they're going to be straight into the base as well because those stations are down. 
my armor's pretty good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Take this guy down. No fresh enemy ships just yet. We oh, got him. Okay, we're calling my bombers. <sighs> and everybody's still intact. Right. Jump to the Delta. Need to recap that station. Buy some time. Got five seconds. Please don't jump into Delta. Please don't jump into Delta. They're jumping into Alpha. Okay, that's good. One ship has jumped into Beta and capped that station. And I'll have an upgrade. Uh, I think I'm going to go for an attack upgrade. We've recaptured Delta. We're on wave 9. Jumped into Alpha. And here they come. Oh, that is a lot of enemy ships. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one taking the damage and that's, you know, that's what I'm here for but well, I probably shouldn't be turning that armor face towards them because there was no armor left on the starboard side and they took me out okay, it's down to the Pioneer and the Endeavor now I've got to wait out my respawn what's going on? They seem to be handling it okay. Of course, if you control the station and you stay inside the station's defense perimeter, you get heals. Right. Ready to jump back in. And they've done it. They've cleared Alpha. All right. Nice job, guys. I'm sitting here in Delta. Because from here... I can react to wherever they appear. I'm one jump away from every sector. Although, actually... Nah. Change of plan. Next wave in two seconds. Let's get into the home base. Ah, crap. Alright, Delta it is. I was hoping to come back and pick up an upgrade, but uh, no time. Back to Delta. Here they come. Oh, suicide bombers. Got to take those little buggers out. Before they impact, got them just in time. Now this guy. We're on wave 10. This is not bad. Has my armor holding up. Oh, took a hit from a suicide bomber. He's down. Took another hit from a suicide bomber. That guy's shielding up. I'm taking all kinds of hits. Wait, he's jumping out. Oh, they've taken the base. They're jumping into our home base. This is not good. No, I was trying to cap the base and prevent that guy from jumping out, but I was... I just didn't have the firepower. I have to get into the base. There's just me and the Endeavour left. The Pioneer's been taken out. He's respawning. Two seconds. He'll be able to get back into the fight. How many turrets do we have left? Missiles away. Swing the ship around. It's the only problem with the Colossus. It's big and it's tough, but it's... Oh, bollocks. Jumped in right next to me. Well, that's good news. He's well within range of the flat guns. Send the fighters away. Engage him rather than protecting me. We've lost the Endeavour. Yeah, I know the base is vulnerable. They're in Delta. No, Beta. They've taken Beta, so there are going to be fresh enemy ships jumping in. I'm taking some damage. I've got no armor left on the port side. I'm going to swing the ship around, but I'm taking all kinds of fire on the port side. The Endeavor's respawned. He's ready to jump back in. They've taken down the last turret. They're now concentrating their fire on me and the station core and I cannot take much more of a battering like this come on come on guys get in here and I think I'm done yep I'm down they're absolutely hammering the core there it's at 50% integrity yep oh this ain't good 
Come on, guys, get in there. That is a lot of ships. <laughs> I don't think, with just a support ship and an attack ship, I, we just don't have the firepower. No, the call's about ready to go. Although I'm about ready to jump back in. Right, who wants some? You'll do. Oh, the core is almost down. This is going to be really close. How's my armor doing? 50% uh, on the starboard side. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Armor's gone on the starboard side. Swinging the port side around, keeping the flat cannons going. Trying to take the drones down. They're actually doing the majority of the damage here. Come on, come on. Wow, I'm taking a battering here. <laughs> and I'm down again. Whoa. But, you know, that's good. That's good. It's better that they're shooting at me than they're shooting at the core. All the time they're shooting at me, I'm just absorbing the damage. The Endeavour and the Pioneer are killing them. And they're not attacking the core. I'm in a USR Colossus. That's what their ship is for. Uh, but they've taken out the Endeavour. That just leaves the Pioneer. And... There's still a lot of enemy ships, and he's down. All of us are down. Come on, there's my respawn. Get in there. There's not that many of them left. We're still on the 10th wave. Come on, jump down, you jump. No. They've done it. Ugh. Well, wave 10's not bad. It's not as good as wave 14. <laughs> but... When I when I managed to get through to wave 14, I was playing with the devs. And we were sitting right next to each other, so it was easy to coordinate our attacks and focus targets. But that's not bad for a random Before group. Solomon's rift, nobody had ever faced a swarm and survived. Not that we could stop them. They ran on, taking every system they encountered. We survived. We got the civilians out. And lived to tell the tale. For us... That was victory enough. Signal lost. Right. So, wave 10. I've no idea how good that is. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as wave 14, obviously, but, you know, that was in a pre release build of Last Stand. So, how does this performance stack up against everybody else who's been playing Last Stand since it went live on the 19th of April? Let's find out. Let's have a look at the leaderboard and see what my rank is. Seven hundred and seventieth. Yeah, that seems pretty shit. <laughs> well, do you think you could do better? Put your money where your mouth is. Get this game installed and have a go yourself. It is a lot of fun. And I've also bought myself the Last Stand campaign pack, which unlocks a bunch of Last Stand missions. Uh, the first mission of which was simply to survive past Wave 3, which is pretty simple, and has unlocked a Last Stand hangar. I'm just not entirely sure how to go about enabling it. Perhaps it's in options. Let's have a look. No, nothing there. Experimental, perhaps? There it is. There it is, the last stand hanger, which looks like... Oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Well, anyway, yes, there you go. Last stand. New co-op PvE three-player team battle mode in Fractured Space from Edge Case Games. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you agree and I hope you enjoyed today's video because that's it for today as always enjoy the rest of your weekend take care and I'll catch you next time